the Naruto character you've all been waiting for. <laughs> Eno. <laughs> I know there's loads of characters I haven't drawn. Well, not loads, but I haven't drawn Choji. I can't believe. And Eno. But I just know it, they're not going to... They're not gonna do well. <laughs> it's not gonna get a lot of views. I know. It's no offense to Eno, like great character and everything, but you know, just no incentive there. <laughs> Choji might do well. I don't know. Let's see. I'm on a landscape page. Use pencil eraser. Hit pause if I go too fast. Center point of my page is about here. We come up over to the right hand side. Start with right. Typical Naruto sort of shape to the eye. You go diagonal and then across like that. Sort of hooks down here. And then the bottom shape goes like that, right? So that's your general shape for most Naruto eyes. You thicken up the top eyelid, right? And Eno has like eyelashes and stuff. So you th thicken this up first. You just make it kind of thicker and darker. And you add a little hook. So you make this kind of like spiky down here. And then she's eyelashes, right? So she has like some eyelashes at the front and at the back. She makes her look more feminine. Her iris curves around here. Right. And she actually doesn't have a pupil. It's weird. And then her eyebrow goes that way. Kind of shaped eyebrows. Arched up and spiky at the end. And then we have like a nose line here. Her other eye is like covered with her hair, so we won't draw it in until we do the hair, right? So we just go down then and just add some nostrils. That's all they do in Naruto for her, for her nose. And then her mouth, she's kind of smiling, so it like kind of curves across here, hooks up at the end. Just a little small smile. And then her chin, kind of pointy, just there. Okay, and in general, bottom of the eye to the nostril in this, because her head is like tilted forward, she's kind of leaning her head forward. Usually it's here and here with the same, but we're going to go bottom of the eye to the nostril is about the same as nostril to chin. Like we've got a head tilt. When a character's head is tilted forward, we got some perspective, right? So like this, this whole space is bigger than this space. So we'll go from here and here about the same. And then nostril to bottom lip, is about the same as bottom lip to chin still so that's your normal proportion there and there the same distance and then here and here the same distance okay just if you're wondering about that kind of stuff so then we go for a jaw kind of feminine features so you just kind of gently curve the jaw up you don't need to add a strong jaw and this side goes underneath that hair so stop it about there so just above her jaw here, we have a V for a sideburn beside her eye, just here. And from the sideburn, her ear comes out, right? And then top ear line in there, and she has earrings like so. So her hairline goes up from here. She's got a hair clip, right? And then she does zigzags hairlines right because her hair is like pulled back tight so we just have these spiky hairlines here and then like in general your forehead and your nose are about the same size right so the length of her nose is about the same length as her forehead okay so like there to there is about the same as there to there and then we have a big fringe. Spiking hairlines. Like that. And this goes all the way up. Around the other side of her head. Goes just behind her ear then. Down behind her back. And you could have like some texture lines for her hair. Right, so her other eye, right? Your about eye width 
right to what we can see of the other eye so you can just see like her eyelash line here you know with a little eyelash sticking off maybe some at the bottom and then her iris like that and just thicken up the top eyelash line a little bit and then some of her eyebrow again just gone underneath her hair there now some people like to draw the whole eye you know and just erase it if you wanted to do that you could of course Sometimes I think it's simpler to just do it this way. And then she has some tied hairband lines up here and her tied ponytail just curves around like so. We can just see her neck quite thin there. And then her collar comes around her neck. Like so, bit of a fold line there. So, and her body's kind of turned away, right? So we're kind of like different on both sides. Her, like her body's three quarter pose. So it's like the shoulder's kind of smaller. We just do her clothing, right? So it curves down that way. And then on this side, it curves out for her chest around like so. And then we've the line down the middle, curving out and down. And there's like these fold lines and stuff. And some buttons there. So then like her shoulder, so comes out this way, curves around for her arm down here. Got her armpit, like so. Like that, and then her back. And she's got like a ninja sort of sleeve thing on. On her arm here. And it's got those crisscross lines. I guess it's supposed to be like kind of chain mail sort of thing. And then we can see some of her collarbone. So then the other shoulder, smaller, comes down this way. And we can just see like her armpit line and the collarbone. And then her hair goes that way. Hair spike here, hair spike here. And her hair goes behind her back. You can add some textures to that if you want. Like so. That's it. Eno from Naruto. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.